Hello and what is up my friends, it is Thunderbob here, and tonight we're going to be checking out a new game. This is Liberté by Superstatic. This just came out of Early Access, it's been Early Access for quite a while from my understanding, but it just had a full release yesterday, May 23rd. It's available on uh, discount for $16.99, normally $19.99, and um, I'm really intrigued by the concept here. I haven't actually started playing it yet, this is going to be a quick look probably like the first 30 minutes or so maybe a little less or a bit more depending on where i find a good breakpoint at um, but it's described as a deck building roguelite inspired by the french revolution and body horror and like right there those are such like interesting you know you got the french revolution and then you've got basically like lovecraftian body horror like look at the image in the background you got like traditional like french revolution iconic uh, iconography and then you've got like i don't know what that is in the background it looks like looks like a last of us thing mixed with um like something from a cronenberg movie so i'm very intrigued by the combination you don't see a lot of like historical setting things with horror aspects in them especially in the gaming realm so the that's what kind of hooked me on this want to make me want to try this out uh, we're gonna jump in. It looks like there is multiplayer. Uh, I did right off the bat see it looks like it supports ultra wide resolution. As you can see, it's pulling up the whole screen here. Um, controls looks like it's mouse and keyboard support. But if I press anything on my my controller, it automatically picks that up. I'm gonna start mouse and keyboard, and if I find it difficult, I may switch to controller. But it looks like out of the box, it has support for both. But let's go ahead and get started. Wake up, Petal. I need your help. My God, what a carnage. Show yourself, you who speak to me. A weeping sound from above reaches your ears. Hurry up, Petal. I'm in such a pain. Are you hurt? Where are you? You have a new quest. Check the quest log for details. You can press F to summon a path of embers that will highlight your way. Nice. And it looks like WASD to move around, left click, attacks. And what's weird is it's described as a deck building game, but all the trailers and stuff I saw makes it look like a real time a action game. The body of a young man, partially entombed in the pulsating flesh. His wide open eyes are frozen in an expression of pure horror. A pretty good narrator. This man. He looks so familiar, but why? Who is he? I think... I think his name is... Don't waste your time, Petal. I need you now. Hurry! Don't they look the same? Is he, like, seeing himself on the ground? Uh, like I said, pretty good narration. Like, what I think of great narrators, like, my mind automatically goes to, like, Bastion. Um, Transistor had another really good one. Hey, you! What are you doing there? Hey, hey, I'm talking to you! Wait. I recognize him. He is one of the instigators. A rebel. Arrest that man. Draw your sword. It's either you or them. They only deal in absolutes. Wait, are they a Sith? Use dodge to escape enemy attack. Space for a quick dodge. Hold space to roll. Tap or hold the left to perform a series of fast attacks. By default, your picture attacks forward. Your mouse cursor. You can change this behavior in the game settings. <laughs> Ah! 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 
Yeah, it feels like uh, like Hades or something, which I'm a big Hades fan. Well, you can break stuff. Hades probably was my favorite game that year it came out, and I'm very much looking forward to Hades too. It's just weird that they call it a deck building game. Like I'm assuming, um, like your abilities are somehow like cards that you get, and maybe you're cycling through them, but. When I read that description, I don't immediately think of, like, an action game. I think of, like, a turn-based, like, Slay the Spire. Like, when I hear deck-building roguelite, uh, Slay the Spire is what comes to mind. And clearly, this is not uh, Slay the Spire. Oh, Petal. I'm so sorry you see me like this. We don't have much time, but you do deserve to know what happened. I know you, don't I? How come is that? I, I don't even know my own name, and somehow... Renee. Your name's Renee. Now, everything's about to be crystal clear. Come closer, Petal. Touch my heart, and you shall see... I came to bring back the balance they've lost. Ruthless tormentors. Tiddy! Aim for the head! None of them wanted to hear what I had to say. Primitive creatures. So violent. So vile. We had to fight back. Toxic world, my petal. So very toxic. Stripped of my strength, I've withdrawn. Frightened beasts are the wildest, aren't they? What did you do to deserve such fate? Yes, I terrified them. I might be different, but do I deserve to die for that? Renee, take my heart. Save me from obliteration. You're my only hope. No creature deserves to die like this. But I need to know I'm on the side of good. There are no sides, Renee. But there is hatred that you and I can stop. I will lead you to a safe spot that I have seen before my body collapsed. You're one of them. You'll blend in, right? I always manage things on my own. Why should it be different this time, huh? I'll help you. Lead the way. Do I have to take her heart? Okay. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool. You would think, like, an eldritch horror talking to you. You'd be questioning it a little bit more, like... Am I the baddie? I feel like I'm the baddie. Is that like a, a good guy? Thanks for the assist here. It would be quite dishonorable to <laughs> die pressed by a bathtub. You're Renee, right? Do I remember that correctly? You're one of his men. I... yes. Do you know what happened here? Lamentably, I can't explain it. You were with us at the coronation, right? I guess I can't remember. It's all blurry now. I think this all might be connected. Rumors were that the tribesmen were fiddling with dark magic. All I can remember is darkness, really. Sure must have been in the crowd, right? I... I do believe so. The city gathered in front of the cathedral for the coronation of Prince Philip August. As Max begins his story, memories flash vividly before your eyes. Blessed be this day on which we crown Philip August de France. 
and all of you who come to do the Oman service. Let this be the day when we end our mourning over King Lord and renew the sacred covenant in the glory of its eternal grace. People of Ponce, I here present unto you Philip, your undoubted. Mas se fosse que sim, então tem. Maybe not. It feels like they didn't have enough money to animate everything. They give you voice over and like it's still image. Standing there, about to put the crown on the prince's head. Suddenly that monster explodes from the ground and smashes him to a hideous pulp. Both grueling and yet, I think the creature got the crown too. So, no king? That's it. France has no king. All hell will break loose. I tell you, this monster might just be what we need to break out of the monarchy shackles. Wait, so you... so we... we're the rebels? Indeed, son. Well, hold that thought. Looks like we have some company. One thing is the character models, like the the art is pretty good for like the still images. But, like this does not look very much like that. It's like like a character created with like a generic character creation tool. But I mean, like this is not a triple A game. Obviously, I can understand. Uh, but that seems like a major character. <laughs> Armored enemies do not get staggered when hit and can easily counter your attacks. Hit and run. Each plate bar on an enemy health bar means 10 points of armor. Got it. And it looks like if you kind of get the spacing right, you can hit uh, more than one enemy at a time. Well, Renee, I believe the legal system has already identified you as my associate. Perhaps you could help me. Again, our dear Anna, the rising star of the rebellion, has gone missing. I saw her being chased by the soldiers after that bloody spectacle at the cathedral. She... This Anna he speaks of, she's the fearless leader of their whole uprising. A strong seed. I feel it. We must meet her. That's all. You're right, Max. We can't. After you... Great. In the meantime... So there's some cards. You grow stronger by playing cards. When playing cards can grant you new abilities or increase your stats. Press I to open the inventory and see your cards. Cards plus mana to play. Fill up your mana bar by burning cards you don't need. Burning destroys a card, but you get mana equal to its cost. Press R to burn such a card and gain mana. I've got pistol shot shoot an enemy within 7 meters for 20 damage. From a white attack dealing 20 damage and a white arc in front of you. And vanish. So if I burn that card... Now I have one mana, which I can do one of these things. Do I want to play that right now? Is it going to use it? Or does it put it on my bar? Okay, I put it on my part. Equip skills appear in your skill bar. Most skills require a target to use. You can use skill as many times as you want, but it goes in cooldown. Okay. I was wondering if that was like a single time use. This would be very tedious if that was the case. Each slot on the skill bar corresponds to one skill type. Melee range support ultimate gadget. You can only equip one skill of each type. Playing a new card with this new skill will override. Interesting. It seems like it's got like a three second cooldown. Basic attacks will lower your cooldowns. You know what the system reminds me a little bit of, and this is not like a good thing? Is that magic 
the Gathering Legends game that was like out for a month and then got uh, unceremoniously cancelled. Wait, should I have gone? There was like something over there I could have probably gone and done. Now I can't get back. Um, because that game had like a card system where you'd have like a deck and all the cards were abilities and like as you use them. Um, it's almost like it randomly gave you. It, it's not quite the same. It's actually this worked better because in that system you'd randomly like get abilities so there wasn't a lot of strategy because you don't know when you'd have like your summon ability versus your heal ability versus a specific damage ability it was just very much it felt like there's way too much random uh variation but this one you have cards which talents are passive effects that make your character stronger they last until you die uh, I kind of like this system more than that, but I'm still not 100% sold on it just yet. So they're cards, and then when you use them, they become skills. These require mana. If I burn a card, I get one mana, or was it the cards? Because I can't play unless I had more mana. Your melee attack deal 25% more damage. Your range skills. I like the range at the moment, so we're gonna I'm gonna burn that one and see if I get. Yeah, they'll give me three mana. Cool. Which then means I can use that one, and it's now can't become a uh, became a uh, talent. That's a plot armor. You can't die just yet. If the damage will kill you, it's reduced to zero. That's funny. It's a plot armor. So I'm dealing five percent or plus five damage on my my uh one weapon conceptually i like it it's kind of a cool system it's hard to know until you get a lot more cards and like the frequency that you get them and That Anna. My people will eventually break your siege. We will rip the freedom we're owed from your cold, dead hands. I'm guessing somehow you become her later because she is like the cover art of the game, and I assumed you played as her. What on earth are you mumbling about? It's been like that for decades. Uh, and I want to make things better, but I can't with you ravaging half of the city. Step down, let's talk. I'm done with you talking. Face me. All I see is a kid in rich robes. Show me there's a man in there too. Anna, you are destroying the very place we have sworn to protect. My allegiance lies with the people, not your gold and jewels. Now let it end here, Philip. No need for more blood to be shed. End it? It has just begun, my dear friend. I just wanted to have a glass of wine. Meet my destiny of becoming a king. Besides, I have the whole army behind me. I have the might of the crown of France. I have... The only thing you have, Philip, is a stupid look on your face and a cannon pointed right at your back. I feel like that basic attack should just be slightly longer. Like it feels a little imprecise and a little Max, too I'm short. I'm so happy to see you. I thought they got you too. They would have if I didn't get help from Renee here. Look, they're bringing a cannon. We'll do the proper introduction later. Where do we go? To the theater. Quickly, they're firing. I have no idea where the theater is, but sure. Thank you, Renee. We have made it safe to the theater. Come join us. I'd like to meet the mighty rebel who rescued me. Oh, that was nothing, Anna. Only my duty. I Indeed. The fighting in the center grows in scale. You should go. And by the way, you're one hell of a fighter. 
We're lucky. Coming, my petal. Now, see that hole down there? This path will take us right to the cave from my vision. Someone's lucky today. Silver? So I got some kind of currency. It's sometimes not clear. Like in some games I would see this and think that this is a dead end. But in this game you just can like walk over it. Syrup seeping through the rocks. Yep. That's of their making. An essence that we can use to restore my physical shape. We must find its source. I feel it nearby. It looks pretty nice at times. Like this dungeon has a cool vibe to it. The outside was a little hit or miss, though. What's going on here? Who the hell are you? Oh, Mat, no. No need for savagery, messieurs. I might be able to help. Look at that. A self-proclaimed rebel idiot wants to help. You should have thought of that before lighting up the city with the rest of your come. What is it that you're seeking here? Monsters, Rebel. These walking corpses that attack citizens. Don't believe a word they say, Petal. Wait a second. What's that glimmering thing you're holding? Don't let them see my heart, Renee. They're ready to kill you even for holding it. This is my personal errand. That's what it is. You're helpful to everyone, aren't you, rebel? Your choice. That's it. Oh, Petal, you served me well. Place my heart on this altar. Should I be questioning my actions? Like, I feel like... He's either under control of her, or an idiot, because, like, I don't know, she's, she's like a monstrosity. In the throes of recent events, you deserve to know what's going on. First of all, call me Lady Bliss, Petal. I definitely have more questions than answers. So, who are you, Lady Bliss? I have traversed hundreds of worlds before I found yours. Someone tampered with forces they didn't understand, and I was able to come here. Some see me as the Reckoning, and some as a threat. But what matters is your mission. My mission? I thought this was my mission, Lady. I got things to attend to. This world has been out of cosmic balance for too long. Renee, we need to restore tranquility. I need your help to do that. Listening tranquility means that like she takes over everyone, like turns everyone into a monster. I'm so confused. That man, Max, he said things about you. He told me about a broken coronation. An explosion? How can I trust you? You will see that you have no choice. I'm all that you got. Now, your task, Renee. There are four seeds that claim power in this city. The Rebels, the Crown, the Tribe, and the Congregation. Someone needs to take the Crown, change the course of history, you will help me find that person. Max mentioned that the crown's gone missing. Why would I be the right person to find the next heir to the throne? 
Isn't there like a dynasty? A first in line kind of thing? Renee, everyone needs guidance. Talk to them. Help them with their little dramas. See through their lies. Reach to their hearts. Find me someone worthy of the crown, and you shall be greatly go back to the chamber you passed. You will Wait, a reward? What would it be? But the voice of Lady Bliss vanishes into darkness. Oh, bloody hell. You're gone. I will find my answers elsewhere. Hey. I mean, like, so far it's really intriguing. It's a very interesting mix of, like, 80s and, like, kind of, like, a card system to obtain your abilities. And the setting is, like, it's a really, really intriguing. So I'm in, like, a mission, I think. The music's pretty good too. I'm digging this. The only thing the I think the character models could use a little work and like the animations feel a little stiff. I can't zoom in any closer, I don't think. I think the mouse wheel doesn't do anything. The character models, yeah, definitely could use a little a little bit of work. I should have seen this coming. You always held a grudge against me, Anna. Was it envy that people favored me over you? Don't make this personal. Honestly, it's quite pathetic. You and your ego. Big enough to fill the whole Versailles. Then help me understand this. How is killing innocent people supposed to restore balance and bring prosperity? You are better than that, Honor. I know you. You're angry, but you're not a criminal. You knew me, but you don't know me, Philip. I am the voice of the people. And people do not judge in the same way as courts of law. They do not hand down sentences. They throw thunderbolts. I think that you want to rule the city. You're obsessed with power? Admit it. Let's do it together then. It's about time these old pricks have finally stepped down. Let me help you. Rule? Together with you? I'd rather burn alive, dear prince. Be buried with my revolt. You are a populist, a little man. You try to protect the wrong people. Oh, please. You're looking for an excuse to burn a few houses and let off some steam. And by the way, you'd be surprised how similar we are, Anna. Don't forget that your blood is every bit as blue as mine. So I'm assuming she's some kind of person in the monarchy, the uh, aristocratic, you know, and has fallen down with the rabble. Uh, I guess the uh, the writing and the voice acting on the main characters is is good. It's uh, well written. Some of the lesser characters, um, you know, like that that with the French accents, they're kind of bad. But these two and their their uh, talk here is pretty good. You allowed this to happen, Philip, letting people like Princesse de Lombard parade in fancy dresses while people starved at her feet. You won't stop us. I won't, but I know someone else will. Princess will not die today. So do I need to... Doesn't seem like I can... So is this like how each like mission starts? You come in here and there's like two conflicting sides or something and they mention... Yeah, okay. So I was wondering. So I can support the rebels or support the crown and I'm assuming I get some kind of like points and this is a story quest of course i support the the rebels right he seems like a prick each time you venture out into the city you choose your active deck on level up you draw two cards from its contents this means your active deck dictates what skills and talents your character okay you'll be able to change what cards are in your deck between your visits uh, starter melee range group. I wonder... Like, I wish... I wish you could see what's in it. I'm gonna try melee, because I, I want to see what the different abilities kind of do. So it gives me these four, it looks like. I get... Deal 30 damage in an arc. 
Throw sand into your enemy's eye, stunning them. Increase melee skill by 20%. Perform a wide attack dealing 20 damage. So I'm going to have to burn some cards to start with, right? It's so stunning. Eh. I can do 20% more damage. Uh, is that only on abilities, or is that like just my normal attack too, I wonder? So this does 20 and a wide arc. Or this does like a full 180, but I need 3 points to do it. I feel like I might go with these two. I've got a talent to do more melee damage, and I've got a skill, which does... Well, I guess I have to have an enemy in range to do it. So I can't just kill the innocents. Oh, someone's lucky today. There's like so much stuff in the world. You move pretty quick. He just looks like a weirdo running with his head down. It's almost as bad as like a Naruto run. This won't do. They've built up a fortress in here. The answer is always more firepower. And you know what? We might be in luck. So there's my There's a real galleon being loaded up by the river. I don't think we can steal it with our tiny force. But maybe we can push them back long enough to get their gunpowder. Head to the docks and see what you can do. Is, uh, is the water here, like, frozen? Or is it, like, something about, like, the monstrosity, maybe? I get some new cards. Wakey wakey, deal 25% more damage to stunned enemies. Well, I didn't take the stun, so I probably won't go with that. Stun the enemy with your bayonet for 30 damage. Refresh two cooldown on your ranged skills. Well, I don't have any ranged skills yet, but. Alright. We're gonna burn that because I don't have. Um... Wait, oh, that's a replacement, though. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna keep what I have actually. I'll probably burn that one if I get something else cool. Ow. I swear I some bandages in my pouch. Oh, someone's lucky today. So I still have bandages on me actually, I'm gonna need them. I can play this like Hades and actually do some dodging. I should have, like, just missed that guy. I didn't see, like, a chance to, to hit. Focused. Okay, so I got some new cards. And how do I heal? Is there a... Inventory, use gadget... I guess maybe... I thought they gave us some, uh, some health, but I don't see it there. Basic attack still 20% more damage, so I can level that up, I guess. Ah, restore. Yes, definitely want that. We're gonna burn you. Wait, I should probably... I only have four. I should probably play that first, because I don't know if I might, like, lose the excess. And now I think... Is that, is that giving me 40% more damage? Is that I, like, have got an extra? Oh, okay. So this is skill, melee skills, and this is basic attacks. They're two separate things. I got it. And now I can heal. And that healed for... Okay, it's over time. Treat the gunpowder. Is that it?
But I, I don't see much in the way of, like, loot. Like, if I hit I, you get cards, you get skills, you get talents. And I don't think there's any other buttons to pull up. You get your skills, gadgets, journal, deck builder, inventory. Yeah, I don't think there's any gear. Interesting. It seems like your character customization primarily comes from um, your deck and the cards you pick. That's a choice. But I guess if there's enough I'm variety in there, collection. it might be fine. I mean, the, the reviews on this are mostly positive. It's not overwhelmingly positive, but it's mostly positive. I just feel like usually in these type of games, you have more ways to augment your, your play. Um, you know, like Hades, you have the different weapons you can pick from. You have, like, the different... Um, uh, ways to augment your character. You have the mirror and stuff. Like, and I wonder if there's many of those kind of meta systems. Oh, like there, someone's there is today. currency. I'm, I'm wondering what you spend that on. If it's just more cards, or if there is some other progression system. Oh, I didn't notice that. That was a one-time use. The uh, Military bandages. I've got zero charges now. probably finish this mission and then I may end it for tonight. Like, I wanted this to be about a 30 minute, like, just the starting of the game. Two skill damage for listening to that guy. That will do. I also uh, I read that this works really well on the Steam Deck, so that's pretty cool. If I can buy a potion of bull strength. Or Melee damage increased by 50% for 10 seconds. That's not much time. Poison fume bomb. La Vosian. Your back step applies poison. No, there's no voice acting here. So, is this where I can use uh, that silver I've been collecting? I don't really see anything that's like game changing here. I'm gonna save it for now because I'm curious if there's any other kind of like upgrade you can obtain. I also, I'm assuming that there's some randomness here. Like each of these little areas kind of feels like a chunk of gameplay area. like. Um, like in a roguelike, you know, you go room to room to room. That's kind of what it feels like here. Oh. Those armor guys, you basically get, like, need, need to attack, dodge, attack, dodge. Guess I'll go back to the nursery soon.
I also wonder if you start fighting like one more the horror picture. things or if it's all like fighting real people. There's a thing to pick up, but I can't uh can't seem to get over there. That's weird. Right, let's see if I got anything cool. Store all mana. So I could get four mana with that. Jump to the target and slash dealing 15 damage two times if it has no armor. I've got two of those, and I think. Okay, it would fill up this one. So I can use that, which fills up my mana. Can I upgrade? You already have this skill. Playing this card again will not stack. Okay, so it doesn't upgrade. So that's just like a free burn I could do later. That's got a big range on it. Rightfully mine now. Slice of bacon. I'm gonna die. The combo feels a little, um... Like, imprecise. Maybe I'm just, like, not... I'm not down with the time. Uh, kind of, like, the timers on these abilities yet. Or maybe I should just be dodging, like, constantly. Rightfully mine now. Any armor. That seems like that would be useful. So we're gonna burn that because oh my mana is going up also. I don't know what, what causes that. Okay, playing multiple copies of this does stack it, so that would increase my basic attack. So that's a support skill. I can use that. Like Yeah, it's on a cooldown. That's cool. So I get 20 armor, which is here. That's really useful. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, too. The only thing I'm wondering is, I think every time you start, you pick one of those decks. And I'm wondering, does it always start you just with the basic cards, and then you have to, like, unlock your cards? Like, I would hate to, to get, like, oh, this perfect lucky setup, today. and then you have to just start over with a new deck. I feel like like Q was not on cooldown and I kept clicking it and it did not seem to want to activate. I'm not sure if I'm missing some like internal cooldown or like maybe I wasn't in range or something. One step at a time, Renee. This third damage, so but that would replace the skill I'm using. What's a flawless stack? 10% movement speed per stack, lost one damage. Oh, I didn't see that part. So I feel like this would just straight up do more damage. What's the cooldown on it though? It, does, it doesn't say. So I'd, ha I'd have to burn the 20% basic damage, but I kind of want to see what it looks like. This, this kind of feels like a, a, uh, an action RPG also, oh, like I'm a big Diablo fan, if, if you take a look at my channel, I've got a couple hundred videos for Diablo 2, 3, 1, and, you know, for 4, and when that comes out I'm going to be spending a lot of time on it. This kind of, in a way, feels like, um, one of those kind of games. That does pretty good damage. The, the arc on it actually feels kind of smaller than uh, that other ability, so though. Back to the soon. Oh, 
Oh, someone's lucky today. You get a, or a restore 0.5 armor per sec. That would replace armor up, which just straight up gives me 20 armor on a 12 second cooldown. I feel like this one's just better. Am I not understanding something? Oh, it also does ally, so this would be good probably in multiplayer. I'm gonna hold on to it though for the moment. I didn't notice there's like a little compass here that was also showing you where where you're supposed to be going. Like how many steps away it is. This is a pretty lengthy mission. I wasn't expecting each mission to take quite this long. Likely mine now. Around the wall. Why am I moving slow all of a sudden? Like right there, like I am sure I was within range. And the guy just would not do that attack. I actually like the other ability better, I think. I'm getting like swarmed here. There's something that feels a little off with the animations. Like, I don't know if when like you get attacked if it resets something, but like there are times where I'm like hitting Q and like there's no number here, meaning I should be able to do it. And it's just like it's not it's not triggering. And I don't know there's something like animation canceling or maybe when you're getting hit or something, but it feels a little off. You kill an enemy gain two armor. Can I kill thirty? So that is a talent that seems useful. We're gonna burn that, which I feel like I didn't completely understand. And I almost have enough for that. Maybe I should have gone with that one instead of the other one. But this one does more damage, but I feel like this is perform a wide attack. I was thinking that this is 180 degree attack would be more than the wide slash, but it actually seemed like the wide slash. Um, covers a bigger area. At Diablo 4, when it comes out, I'm probably not going to play anything else for a while. Like, right now, I'm trying to beat Tears of the Kingdom before it comes out. Um, and, like, this... Luckily I'm, I'm going to play like, the first hour of this. But, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make this, like, my main game or anything... I feel really look reluctant to like put time into a long game uh, until I I beat Diablo 4 and Tears of the Kingdom, which are both probably going to be very lengthy games. Like Tears of the Kingdom, I know I'm probably going to spend 50 to 100 hours. Isn't this where I started it? Oh, I missed the. Did I finish the mission? I thought I was supposed to reach House Lambell or whatever. The liberation of Paris is just the beginning. And it's weird how some things are voice acted and some are not. Maybe it's just like the key quests that are. It's weird because I thought the voice acting was pretty good. May have been one of the situations where they didn't have money to voice act everything. Like especially if there's a lot of a lot of text.
I like the background noise too. It definitely makes you feel like you're in a, a city with horses and people and shopkeepers and everything calling for, for you know. Stay out of trouble, huh? So I reached a new influence level with the rebels. So was that just like a stop on the way? I kind of wanted this to be like a 30 minute video and I feel like I'm getting closer to an hour here. I'm enjoying it though. I mean, if I wasn't, I would have stopped the video already. For sure. Oh, someone's lucky today. But I like these first videos when I cover something to be like short enough to be like a single kind of sitting. I feel like when you get into an hour or more, it's kind of hard to reasonably expect people to watch the whole thing. Or even skim it. They have a okay. construction project going on here. So I must, now. Strike before they get ready. I must have reached. Oh. It's interesting, your those cooldowns are not like seconds, it's like attacks. So like Like the more you and I believe it's actually hitting people. Like if I just attack blindly over here and they don't go down. That's an interesting mechanic. It's a way to like like, there is mana in this game, but it's just, what can you cast? It's not, um... Or, like, it's more or less, what can you put on your bar? It's not, um... Actively, like, using it in combat. So the way they manage that is more with cooldowns. Great but it's not traditional now cooldowns, it's like... And bring down the barricade. Your basic attack is almost like the, the generator letting you use those abilities. Did I get anything new? I should probably use that. Oh, so that built that spot. I should definitely be using my armor up ability more. That's it. The barricade is down. Two arms. Storm the palace. There's no cooldown, like, if I use that armor, it just stays on until I get a hit, I think. Getting pretty decent FPS. Ooh, is this, like, a, a boss? Why does he look like he's got a flaming head? It's like Ghost Rider. I totally missed... I think the poison got him. The Lombard on Comprend La The hell was that, the guy? So, what happens when you die? Yeah, I figured you were like grown. Yeah, mushrooms on me and shit. 
Hey, Sunshine. Seems like you've hit a rough patch. Worry not. I have taken good care of you. What's going on? What have you done to me? Time for the hard truth, Renee. You're not human. You're just like me, but lesser. I have created you. Bullshit! I am human. My name's Renee. You poison my mind. Confuse me with your venom, and now talk gibberish! No human can die and be born again. No matter what you believe, human bodies wither, become frail. Your bodies... Why do I have the memories inside my head, then? Memories of people. Organic engineering isn't easy, Renee. It's far beyond your comprehension. You needed a skin, so you had to find one. It comes with all the upsides. Find one? You're focusing on the wrong elements of the puzzle, Petal. You have a purpose. Not many humans do. Before you leave this nursery, I'd like to remind you. You're mine, Petal. And I'm yours. We're inseparably bonded, no matter what you may attempt to do. We need each other. So I, I thought you were being controlled in some way. This is a, like, will you kindly do what I tell you? Right. Should I call you mother then? Oh no. That would be just awkward. Off you go, seedling. I'll watch over you. When you die, you're reborn. You start again at level one and lose all of your equipped skills and talents. Oh, man. That sucks. However, you keep crafting materials and blueprints you found. You progress in storyline and influence. You gain with factions and affairs are also city. Other influence points. So these are the four factions here. So you got the tribe. Not sure if that's racist. The church. Okay. The crown. Okay. And the rebels. Look at our reward. We got an and a skin and weapon. Locks a random card. So like it gives you different rewards as you progress through these these levels with the different factions. <laughs> like at level one you get Philip's ceremonial breastplate. You take damage, you take from melee effect, you reduce by three. Victor. Gain two mana, can put over limit. Okay. And then I saw there's also a deck building interface here. You get stronger by crafting powerful cards and adding them to your deck between adventures. Upon adventuring into the city, you choose the deck. When you level up, you draw two cards. I kind of wonder if I was supposed to die there, because this seems like something that they should have shown me by now. Maybe I was just alive too, too long. Here's here's the abilities in my starting deck. It's kind of cool, conceptually and like mechanically. I still need to see how it like it kind of all comes together. And you can make new decks. It looks like rename. Yeah, so if I wanted to make a whole new deck, maybe like a melee with some range kind of thing. Get hit. Let's see, new deck. You get some abilities in here. You can kind of pull, looks like, abilities from each of these and make your own combination. I like that. I like it quite a lot. And then, I think I found one blueprint while I was playing. And then you've got a journal here, which I'm assuming 
like as you progress you're probably going to be getting some story with each of these factions and also with the bliss I have only seen 4% of the story so far, apparently, so it seems like there's a lot here. See this altar? Here, you can choose an offering from our avid follower. It will restore you to your former self. So I can... 25% resource drop chance. Restore 10 health after each one combat encounter. I feel like at this stage, health is more important. I'm wondering if I can make myself... You notice a small, leather-bound book. Je what a peculiar book. A journal of sorts? I don't remember ever writing these words. But... Play the prologue? I don't want to play through it. I don't know if that'll take me back to... That beginning thing, I don't see. All right, well, that's interesting. That, that reminds me of um, <laughs> it's a very weird callback, but the Sirens of Titan, a Kurt Vonnegut novel, where at one point there's a character who's like got amnesia and doesn't remember anything, and he's reading this journal who he thinks is from some mysterious person, and then spoilers, it's like his own journal, and it's it, I don't know, if, if you like uh, sci-fi. Uh, it's a good one. Okay, so I can make myself look like Anna. I have some boobies. Looks like each faction. Maybe not each faction. But some of the factions. Alright. How do I... How do I leave? Oh, her her basic attack is a uh, pistol. That's cool. I like that. I like that better than Renee's. I think. Oh, goes this way. It looks like she's growing. I can build my deck there. Look, Petal. The word of our deeds is our devout followers were eager to join us in our new home. The gems and trinkets they hold dear, presented as. I can craft. Looks like it takes materials. I'm gonna hold off because I want to see like what cards I actually need. This room looks really cool. Like the flames down there and the candlelight and the Eldritch monster. Yeah, I'm very intrigued by this game. Like I, if you're into like Haiti style games. And you're looking for, like, dances on. you know, a new Hades style of game with, like, kind of like a card deck building mechanic built into it. Um, oh, looks like there's difficulties. It's a lot more complexity here than I, like, initially assumed. It's kind of like Diablo, where you got, like, different difficulty levels. And you can see here, actually, a leaderboard. It looks like there's only four people on leaderboard for Terror 5 at the moment. And, uh... I'm not sure if this means, like, an individual level? Because they did in 52 minutes. I'm not sure why there's no leaderboard. Maybe it's only for the higher difficulties. I think I'm going to end it here, though. Uh, I'm probably going to check this out on my Steam Deck next. Definitely curious. Uh, I, I read the forms and it sounds like it runs uh, reasonably well there. Uh, so that'll probably be the next thing I I test this on. Oh, when you come over here, you look like Renee again, probably so you don't break the story. Yeah, all right. Uh, I will end it here. If you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to check out some of my other content. I've got a ton of other new games, retro games, virtual reality. And if you like what I'm doing, please do like, subscribe, drop me a comment with your thoughts, and just, again, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great night.